huge range. Um, you guys are in here eating a burger or supper, and uh, oh, no, hi. Um, I like to try to do it before it gets too dark outside because these lights are really bright and uh, they kind of get blinded when you open bright lights up like this and you know they come in from the pitch black their eyes get all wonky and <laughs> they all look goofy um, but uh, I put the blankets on them because I knew it was going to be really cold and it was going to rain and uh, those are waterproof so they are nice and super dry underneath so they'll stay nice and warm tonight uh, when the temperature dips back down um, but I want to show you something Look what came in the mail. I can't see myself in here, so I don't know if I'm in frame. Um, but um, this is my hood farmer stuff. Pretty excited. Um, I talked to uh, my, my. I don't want to say he's my friend because you know I'll never ever meet him, but I do consider him a very good uh, gentleman and wonderful dad husband to his family and uh, just happens to live in Canada on the other side of the coast that because um, I'm in I'm on the east coast in the United States and he's in the west coast in Canada so uh, yeah his um, his channel is Stable Horse Training and Rehabilitation. His name is Graham Bull, Bull and really awesome guy. Um, if you're not already a subscriber to his channel, I really highly suggest going over there and checking it all out. This guy is pretty awesome. He knows what he's doing. Okay, so what's in here? Hook armor starter kit. It's got um, my invoice, and uh, his is a little different than mine. Obviously, I don't I don't think he bought like hoof armor, but um, it's got everything in here that I'm gonna need. Um, sorry, my fingers. I have I have Raynaud's disease. it's more of a condition but if you don't know what it is it's basically your capillaries are hyperactive um, in your fingers and then you sometimes in your toes um, where instead of them can you know expanding to allow the blood to come in when it's cold they can they constrict and they don't let the blood go in so your fingers look like that and they get white this is nothing. This is this is just the start of it. This will all turn like awful dead white and blue. And it's just awful. I get it on both hands. As you can see, it's already starting on that hand. And if I even just touch anything that's cold, that's what happens. So if I drop anything, it's because I can't tell I'm holding it. Um, I don't I get it in my feet every once in a while, but not as much. My sister is she has it worse in her feet. And she doesn't have it in her hands, so I don't know which I not like better, but I have my boots. My mom bought me these awesome boots when I was hunting, and they're very warm. So back on topic. So I have um, it's a little brochure about the farmer, what it is, um, and so forth. A bunch of little Q and A stuff in here. That's pretty cool. And a big tips and thing, <laughs> in case you can't read the little one. But yeah, this is for you. And uh, instructions on how to do it. And I, I saw, went on his webpage and he's got videos and stuff like that too. So what else? Um, it's got, this is the Hoof Armor Solution, which is a lot smaller than what Graham had, but that's this. And um, it's got the, the little two 
two things, so when you press down into it, it combines into one, and that's how it activates. Just like um, when you're making liquid steel, you gotta combine the two elements together. Science is gonna love it. So I got that. And then, um, of course, I got some gloves and a little applicator tips. And uh, unfortunately, ah, look at that. I can't do anything with my thumb. <laughs> Shut up, guys. It's not funny. I have to be really careful. So, just like Graham said, it's got these. I don't think you can see it. Let me see if I can get close and show you guys. Where is my camera? There it is. So, I don't think it will focus, but it's got two little doodaddies inside that allows it to mix inside here. So, that's cool. That's cool. There's a one, two, three. I don't know. Should be. There should be eight. I would hope that there'd be eight. I mean, horses have four feet. If you could do it twice, then that would be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. <laughs> So we get gloves, we get applicators, which is cool. I can't do anything with gloves until I can get this done. And then, again. <laughs> no, not like a 9mm or a 45mm or an AR or anything. This is just your uh, typical little mixing gun. Alrighty. And the guy who patented this, his name is David. Thank you, David. This is very well packed. Um, it is pretty cool. And a very well made gun, actually. I thought it was I thought it was gonna be a little bit less made. But that's pretty cool. I presume this clicks over, opens up, and then you, just like if you were using a, a regular caulking gun, you know, every time you, you press the handle it squeezes the, the stuff, this stuff, you know, and it shoots it out there, that's how it works. So, I am very excited to be able to use this, very excited. And I'm sure there are directions on not using it at a uh, certain temperature. And right now it's freaking cold. And his feet are wet, so we're not going to do anything with that. Because I can't dry his feet out right now. And since... Yeah, there you go. Since I can't feel anything. It'd be very dangerous for me to do anything with my fingers and them. So, all right, we'll bring all this stuff in. I don't want to leave it up here. This is way cool. I'm very, very excited. Very excited. All right. All right. So now back to the task at hand. Uh, let's put some hay up. I'm gonna fill these buckets up. These bins up so they have some food for tonight, and uh, and then my next video will be about using this. So I'm very excited with Hoof Armor. I'm hoping it'll work. I think it'll be all right. Um, hopefully, I won't have to result to go into getting um, boots for that guy because his his feet are like that big. <laughs> And his boots are like a size, like, he's a size 10 in his boots. And he's way bigger. So, anyway, I'm going to take my, my white hands. <laughs> it always kind of grosses people out. But this is what happens when you have rain odds. And this is actually mild. Um, most people get it along. I used to get it really bad all, all down here. Um, but since I've moved to North Carolina, it's not so, so bad. But it does hurt a lot. And, uh... It's quite painful, as you can see, like my hands are blue. But I'm gonna finish putting their hay out and uh, I will talk to you guys at another time. Thank you for coming, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. 
and I appreciate it while I get the hang of this little end screen thing about putting subscribing in the bell and all that, but I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you coming. I appreciate you watching my stuff because I'm a new channel and um, I'd like to grow and I'd like to see how we're going to go with uh, everything and I got two new companies so I'll be doing that. Uh, 15 Hands Tack and uh, tack, uh, tack Addict Consignments. So those two channels will be coming pretty soon and um, we'll be putting more stuff up once that gets healed and it gets warmer. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot.